Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. So, the talk is that Volkswagen will overtake Tesla by 2025. According to Bloomberg and Volkswagen themselves now have said that. But the sales numbers we are seeing right now are not very pretty from Volkswagen. And apparently, Volkswagen's production is maxed out, so the pressure is on. They can't keep up with Tesla in China or Europe as a brand. The only lead they have is as a group in Europe. And in the US, well, Volkswagen is pretty much dead in the water. Because we have some numbers now from Q2 and June, so let's take a look at where the competition between Tesla and Volkswagen is today. Because Tesla sales in the US are still on their exceptional growth rate, while Volkswagen is collapsing in the US. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. In the US, Volkswagen's EV sales seems to be collapsing. The car market is down as we know, but EVs sales are up. That is pretty much the clear trend all over the world. But in the US, Volkswagen sales, including ICE, were down 34.4% in Q2 year over year. That is a big drop. But the ID4 sales, the only EV model Volkswagen still has in the US, was down 71% in Q2. Now that is a collapse if I've ever seen one. And the problem is that it is not just a one time off. We can see on this chart, Volkswagen sales has been going down since its sales peaked in Q3 of 2021, with about 5,700 units sold. Now, Volkswagen sold about 1,660 units in Q2 2022. They are now down to only a couple of hundred cars a month. This is clearly going in the wrong direction. Tesla sold about 118,700 units in the US in Q2 this year. And last year in Q2, Tesla sold about 73,301 units. So Tesla sold 71 times the amount of EVs in Q2 than Volkswagen did in the US. Even if we just take the growth from 73,000 to 118,000. That is more than 45,000 units Tesla grew with in Q2. That is still about 27 times more than Volkswagen sold. <laughs> yes, I know it's getting kind of ridiculous to compare Volkswagen in the US with Tesla, as Volkswagen is almost gone in the US and Tesla just grew 62% in Q2 year over year, as Tesla's US sales were not hurt by the Shanghai lockdown. So here we can see the growth continue in the 60% range, as we did see Tesla grow in Q1 globally. So Volkswagen's EV adventure in the US is dead in the water. They have to get going again in the US. I'm not sure what is going on because Volkswagen has said they have over 40,000 orders for the US going into 2022. And Volkswagen has only combined since Q1 2021, when they started deliveries in the US, delivered over 20,000 units. So the slowdown has to be about the production limitation Volkswagen has as right now, as we also know, they are sold out for the rest of 2022. But as we are going through the numbers today, you will see that means their production is not ramping up very fast. Hopefully, they can turn this very, very bad trend in the US of collapsing sales around here in the second half of 2022 as their Chattanooga plant starts production in the US because so far all the ID force in the US comes from their Swickau factory in Germany. And we know that one is lagging a bit behind what Volkswagen had hoped for when it comes to production. The max capacity for that factory is 330,000 units. But last year, its second full year of operation, it was only able to turn out 180,000 units. So hopefully they can get closer this year. 
but it really seems like Volkswagen is not sending a lot of ID4s to the US, but keeping them for the European market. Maybe this is also because Volkswagen C, there is no chance, no chance whatsoever to catch up or just get close to Tesla in the US. Volkswagen is not magically going to increase their sales by 71 times. <laughs> and as I will show you in a minute, they don't stand a chance in China as well. But in Europe, the Volkswagen Group is still the leading force. But as a brand, they are getting their ass kicked by Tesla. Tesla has sold over 70,000 units and the Volkswagen brand just 46,000 units. So not even a close race here. And the Model Y and the Model 3 are the two best selling EVs in Europe year to date. Tesla Model Y is still selling about 75% more than the ID4 that we find in fifth place in Europe right now. And the ID3 is already a shadow of its former self. Year to date, it has only sold about 10,000 units. It is not even in the top 10. And last year, it sold over 62,000 units and was the third best selling EV in Europe. So Tesla is taking the Volkswagen brand to school in Europe, but as a group, Volkswagen is still the leader. So that is no doubt what they will continue to focus on. So they can say we are leading the way in Europe. And because of a small production numbers they have right now, they probably want to keep most of that sales here in Europe to try to keep that lead because they know they will not be able to become any kind of leader in the US or China anytime soon. And they still need a lot of sales as a brand to make some good growth numbers here in Europe. So far this year, the numbers we have from the EU-EVs.com so far, we still don't have all the numbers from all countries, but still the Volkswagen brand has only sold the 46,000 units in the first half of 2022. So they still have to sell about 114 thousand units in the second half of 2022 to just get to the numbers they did in 2021. So I don't think we will see a significant growth in Europe for the Volkswagen brand, but maybe something like 30% growth. But as a group, I hope they will be able to pull off some impressive growth numbers, but they do also have a lot of work cut out for them here as well, as they have sold year to date about 111,000 units. And last year, they made over 288,000 units. So still missing about 177,000 units for the second half of 2022 to just get to last year's numbers. But I really think they will try to keep their focus on Europe to keep that lead as a group because I don't think they will be able to catch up with Tesla as a brand with Tesla ramping up now and the big lead they already have year to date. But that was the second and third biggest market in the world. What about China, the biggest market on the planet that is moving the fastest toward EVs right now? Well, Volkswagen is growing their EV sales here. Volkswagen as a brand sold 17,635 EVs in June in China with their five different EV models, the ID4 Cross, the ID4 X, the ID6 Cross, the ID6 X and the ID3. To compare, Tesla sold 77,938 with two models, the Model Y and Model 3 in China. That is about 7,000 more than the entire Volkswagen Group was able to sell in China in all of 2021, where Volkswagen sold about 70,000 units. But they hope to be able to double their EV sales in China here in 2022. For Q2, I add a Volkswagen three month of sales and have the Volkswagen brand in China set to about 32,519 units of their ID family sold. Compared to Q2 last year, that was the first quarter with the ID production being sold in China, where they only sold about 6,000 units, so up more than 5x from last Q2. So that is a good ramp. But compared to Tesla, it kind of pales. Tesla's wholesales of made in China vehicles in Q2 was 112,583 units. Of them, Tesla sold 89,275 EVs in China in Q2. So Tesla exported about 23,380 units. So even though Volkswagen 
almost 5x their ID sales numbers. Tesla still sold about three times more than Volkswagen in China. Tesla went up from about 61,000 to 89,000 units in Q2 year over year. So Tesla grew about 28,000 units in domestic China sales and Volkswagen sold about 32,000 units. So Tesla almost grew with as much as the Volkswagen brand was able to sell in total. In Q1 in China, Volkswagen sold about 27,000 units. So Volkswagen should be close to 60,000 units sold of the IDs in the first half of 2022 in China. And they have a target of 150,000 EVs sold in all of 2022 in China. So still a very long way to go. So it does sound good that Volkswagen have increased their sales of the ID family in China by 4.5 times in the first half of 2022 compared to 2021, which we will probably see on many mainstream media when Volkswagen comes out with the Q2 numbers themselves. And mainstream could even spin this headline like Volkswagen increased their sales in China by almost 5x, while Tesla only grew 50%. So that would sound like Volkswagen is really catching up to Tesla, but it is of course all about the unit sold and nothing else. And Tesla in the first half of 2022 sold domestically in China about 197,575 units, up from 130,407 units in the first half of 2021. So again, in the first half of 2022, Tesla grew with 67,168 units and Volkswagen's total sales of the IDs was about 59,619 units. So in the first half of 2022, Tesla grew with about 7,000 units more than what Volkswagen was able to sell in total. So again, Tesla is able to grow faster than Volkswagen is able to produce EVs. And the Model Y was the best selling SUV of any kind in June and year to date, it is the second best selling SUV in China, no matter the propulsion. So Volkswagen EV sales are not collapsing in China. So that is good to see. They are climbing, but just Tesla's growth is outselling Volkswagen's combined sale in China, even in one of Volkswagen's fastest growing markets. So they are not gaining on Tesla right now, but Bloomberg said they would overtake Tesla by 2025. So at some point within the next two years, they have to gain on Tesla at some point if they should have a chance to overtake in 2025, right? But even here in China, Volkswagen's fastest growing EV market, the trend still doesn't show us any signs that Volkswagen is able to keep up with Tesla's growth. I think Volkswagen will have a tough time just getting to their target of 700,000 BEV sold here in 2022, which will be about 55% growth if they can pull that one off. How someone like Bloomberg can look at these numbers and come to the conclusion that Volkswagen will be able to overtake Tesla in 2025 is beyond my understanding with the poor numbers Volkswagen is able to pull off right now compared to Tesla's growth numbers. Tesla will probably be somewhere between four to 5 million units in sales by 2025. And yes, Tesla will be able to do that with its current factories. They don't even need to build any more factories, just ramp up and make the planned expansion for these factories and Tesla will be able to spit out a lot more than 5 million vehicles. So Tesla has everything in place, including the mining contracts to make this ramp by 2025. Volkswagen will be nowhere near that kind of production numbers in 2025. The ramp over the next two years would have to be incredible to get from 700,000 in 2022 to just 2 million in 2025 with the growth we see Volkswagen have so far. And again, Tesla will probably sell twice that anyway in 2025. But Volkswagen sales are not really that impressive right now when we make the Tesla versus Volkswagen comparison that the mainstream media love to do. And Bloomberg thinks that Volkswagen will overtake Tesla in 2025. Well, Volkswagen have a lot of work in front of them if they want to catch up. 
even just to BYD, let alone Tesla. Also, if we look at a global scale, Tesla Model Y is by far the best-selling plug-in vehicles, followed by the Model 3 that overtook the little Wuling Mini EV this year. And then we have to go a bit down the list to find the ID4, and that is the only plug-in vehicle Volkswagen even have on this top 20 list. Not just as a brand, but the entire Volkswagen Group has no other models on the top 20 list. But Ford is actually there with the Mark E on the 19th best-selling plug-in vehicle in the world right now, so not bad Ford. And we do find the Ionic 5 and the Kia EV6 on this list as well. And the rest is, yep, Chinese. So I do think this is a big problem for Volkswagen. The ID4 is supposed to be the Tiguan of the electric car. Volkswagen did have a plan of 1.5 million in 2025, but seemed like those numbers would be up for debate right now. But I think the highest numbers I have heard from Volkswagen is 1.8 million. But the plan was that the ID4 stands for about 500,000 units of those 1.5 million target Volkswagen had a couple of years back. So they have quite a long way to go. And remember, Tesla's Model Y started production in January 2020 and started deliveries in March 2020. And Volkswagen started production of the ID4 in October 2020, only nine months after Tesla's Model Y. And just look at the difference in sales here, which is probably more an indication of how much the automaker have been able to ramp up production of the two models. But the Model Y sells about four and a half times as many units as the ID4 globally. I highly doubt that in nine months from now, we will see Volkswagen pull that kind of production numbers off from their Swickau, Emden and Chattanooga factory combined from the last five months. Even though Volkswagen will start production of the ID4 this month in Emden and Chattanooga, or however you say that name. So let's see if Volkswagen can turn this sinking ship in the US around and get some real momentum going in the second half of 2022 globally because they kind of need to because Tesla is also gearing up so let's see if Volkswagen can keep up with that yeah I highly doubt it and thank you for watching and until next time take care out there and be nice